Hey everybody, so today we're going to check out my most carried EDC through the month of February and uh, leading up to this month. And I'll, we're also going to do a quick follow up on the Wardig. Um, and actually, we're probably, let's just do, just do that first. So I've been carrying this for a little over a couple weeks and it was a gift from, pull the sticker, it was a gift from Jersey Knife Guy. So thank you so much, Pete. That was freaking awesome. I really like this one a lot. Um, I actually, I haven't adjusted the pivot yet. I just wanted to see what, how it would break in. It's getting a lot better. Um, my only complaint is that the thumb set is a little bit too smooth and I don't always get it. Let's see, it's kind of slipping. You really got to push hard on that one. And it's, it's just not grippy. That's the only thing. I love this knife though. Look, really awesome texture to the covers. Um, that, that coating, whatever it is, it, it's tearing up boxes for sure. But, um, that coating, let's see if you can see, it's starting to come off. That's another thing. I think maybe they, uh, maybe like a satin finish blade would have been better. Still a great knife. It's, you know, nothing, uh, um, I haven't stropped it at all. So let's see, just from, not, I mean, from like a couple weeks of use. And I've used it, cut up, cut up a lot of, a lot of boxes. So it cuts great. Maybe it needs a little bit of sharpening. The, oh, maybe not. A little bit towards the, around the choil. Let's see. It's getting a little... Anyways, it's Oz 8, so it probably just needs a bit of stropping and then... But a uh, really cool knife. This is, um... I get where was it at? Well, I was carrying this one for, for a long time. This is the... Uh, what is it? Emerson Rendezvous. That's a freaking awesome knife. This thing... They sell it as a hunting knife, but this would be a great work knife. It's awesome. It opens up. Um... You got the thumb, you got the thumb wheel, and you get the little oh, what's it called? The wave, or Emerson Wave technology is what they're calling it. It hooks onto your pocket, pops right open. It's freaking awesome. Really great knife. I did have to tighten the pivot a little bit because when I would close it, it, every time it went right on my thumb. So I figured I'm gonna get it a little bit tighter so I can get out of the way faster. But so I was carrying that a lot, and then um, before this, I was carrying a little Senka. I can't remember which one it is sure one of you guys can tell me in the comments down below but this is a really cool deep pocket clip, clip, ah, deep pocket clip carry really awesome smooth action and it just flies open a uh, little effort so not good at doing the thumb flicking but really cool knife I, that was from tim school of fish so thank you very much to tim i should pull out a sticker but um i don't have one handy so i'm sorry i'm sorry tim Please go check out Tim School of Fish. So I'll leave links down below to Jersey Knife Guy, whoops, Tim School of Fish, and uh, every every one I mention. And there's a lot of knives I'm gonna mention. I don't have I didn't pull up the stickers for. Um, this next one, I was carrying this too after a little bit after this. Uh, as the the Buck Prince, and it was freaking. This is a freaking awesome gift from Dave. Seeing Toad. I really like that one. I really like the the size of it, the way it feels. I love the design of the scales really cool knife nice drop point um so that was i'm trying to i was mostly aside from this i was trying to do lighter carry so I, i'm gonna put this aside for now and i'm gonna switch over to the mixtape kershaw mixtape it's a little bit different in blade but really similar in style other than that so this is more of a um, I guess like a spade blade or a ta reverse tonto and this is kind of a more of a modified cheap's foot has a nice stone wash finish though i think they should have done that on this blade um g10 handles they're almost like if you look at it, they're almost exactly the same just a few different same i think same blade length even same shape it just this one doesn't have a lanyard and it doesn't have a thumb stud so if you don't like a thumb stud this might be a better option if you if, if you, if you want to get something like that this one feels great in the hand. Has a little bit of jimping on the thumb wheel. There you go. Really cool. Flies open just as good as all the other ones. So I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna switch it over to this one. And I'll do a review re soon. But I also carried the yellow Delrin Sodbuster Junior. Oh, I probably need to clean because I've been using it a lot. 
It's a really nice patina on it though. Been cutting steaks, um, fruits. You can kind of see that right there. Really, really cool knife. The only thing I don't like about it is the color. It's a little, little off center, but nothing bad. No blade rub, high carbon steel. Made in the USA. So this is a really great knife. This is, you know, one, probably the most used slip joint this month. Um, I did carry the Hedgehog quite a bit, and I'm probably going to carry it more. And this thing is phenomenal. This is what I got from Big Red EDC, so I did not buy this one. And then on the lanyard, I have one of those rebar beads from Eric. Um, Eric Starr. Sorry, I'm trying to get out of the camera. And that's freaking awesome. Eric Starr did awesome on that one. And then I did carry this a little bit. This is the e trick I got from MB EDC. And he doesn't have a sticker, so I can't show his, but <laughs> this is a wicked knife. It feels great in the hand. Um oh, probably it's 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 a 10 pull. It's a 10 pull for sure. When I first got it, it was 11. I had to oil it up and clean it a little bit. Friggin' a 10 pull all the way. And uh, another slip I've been carrying. Uh, well, I, I, I've stopped now, but this was the um, Rosecraft Kayak. And you can pinch open or use a nail neck. That's like a seven pole. Really solid. One of my favorite knives. Got the titanium bead on there. And then just a few more. So I, I've been carrying, trying to carry this one. This is, what is it, the 74? So this is the 74 GEC, and this was a gift from somebody. And it's freaking awesome. I love this one. I know not a lot of people like the cotton sampler, but I think, I, I like it, I think it's cool. And that pole is perfect. It's like a seven, eight. And incredible walk and talk on that one. On the beat, I got a little Craftsman, what is it, quarter inch? Quarter inch socket. Um, but the, the same person gave me this one in a trade. So I'm probably going to be carrying this one for a while. I need to just make, make a nice slip for it. This is a 47, I believe. Yeah. This is a really awesome knife. Um, I already came pre tinered But I'll probably put more on it. I'm going to use it for sure. Um, probably more of like a... It's probably like a 5 pole. 4 or 5 pole there. Five there, so yeah, four or five. But that makes sense because you use this in the garden, or if you're doing um, or this pattern, if you're in the garden or doing construction, electrical work, whatever, you're probably gonna be wearing gloves, so it's easy. It's easy to grab. So it makes sense that it wouldn't have a quite as strong of a pull. And then this I've been carrying almost every day my pouch with a little Olight flashlight in there. I think it's titanium, I'm not sure, it's rechargeable. My Super Tinker and my custom pin. Right in the rain notepad and then I have a Gondek EDC Hank and the charger for the flashlight. So that's pretty, well, oh, I have my wallet. But these, these are my, my, my main EDCs I've been carrying for a while. I'm switching some. I'm gonna switch out that pin with the, an, another thing that uh, Eric Sar gave me, and this is freaking awesome. Really good looking brass bolt action pin. So I'm gonna be throwing that in there, and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna be how I'm gonna if I'm gonna swap these out or just carry this separate. But this is the uh, Huntsman. That was a gift from Steel City Knives. So shout out to Steel City Knives. A lot of awesome people. Them. I'm gonna have to put down links down below. Please go check them all out. They're really great people. So I think we're almost done. Got it. As uh, Terry's nice and man stuff, a man needs fire. This is the one I've been using them the most um, at home, anyways. And it's starting to get kind of messed up. I love like the ruler is pretty accurate. Um, really great knife. It's probably how oh, folds it. It looks like it's about empty. So. <laughs> I've been carrying this. Oh man, I didn't get my string. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is my arc lighter. It's it kind of works. I try to use it on uh, my paracord. You can kind of see it. 
One thing that's kind of interesting though, let me see, I might have to turn off my lights for this one. Hold on. So, that color is almost a UV. It makes it, see, it looks, it makes my, it makes it glow. So that was kind of cool. But I'm gonna the lights back in. It's a really handy one. It was cheap. Now it's like six, seven, eight bucks now. Um, the official one is like 20, so it's been working. And I'll show you, it does melt. So I'm gonna show you the freight end. And then. But the thing is, you don't wanna get too close to this because you don't wanna get this to melt onto that. But it's working, see? And then you can pinch it off, whatever. So really cool. I really, I really like that one a lot. But I, th I guess that's it. I might start carrying this one again. Swap out the Super Tinker for that, that one. I have the, the serrated recruit in there, in case you're wondering. But this was a really nice carry. You just don't get the Hank, the notepad. Um, this would be good to kind of carry with a bigger knife. If you're carrying a smaller knife, I think this is fine. Like that's that's an easy carry, but uh, that's it though. Thank you all for watching. Oh wait, I'm gonna do some shout outs. So first off, I pulled out two random stickers. Uh, the first one was uh, Splitting Slices, Byron Kennedy. Please go check them out, link down below. And the next one was Subjoint Sawyer. Uh, fantastic channel, he does excellent reviews. He's a really great person, he's really nice. Um, go check him out, check out his Discord. I'll have a link down below to that too. And then um, be sure to um, check out Jesse James. Jesse McJames, if I can say it right. <laughs> Scoot it over. Jesse, Jesse McJames and I are gonna do a live show on uh, Thursday at 4.30 Eastern time. Go, go sub to his channel. So I just we just did the time change and it's I'm all out of whack now. I was out of whack before too, so. But go check out Jesse McJames' channel. I think it's 3.30 Central Time, but uh, go double check with him. And uh, I think we're going to have Slippin' and Sawyer on. I'm not sure. But anyways, and maybe somebody else if we're lucky. But thank you all for watching. Sorry for the additions and more additions, but thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great night, and I will talk to you tomorrow.